Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for their LEGO Ninjago video, and in this video we're going to be talking about the first Spinjitzu Master, but more specifically, his wife. Now, we've never seen the wife of the first Spinjitzu Master ever in any of the TV episodes. We only have a few pieces of evidence that do in fact ensure that she was in existence, other than the fact that it just makes sense. Just logically, she had to have been there at some point, but we've never heard really anything about her, and so that's what we're going to be talking about and speculating speculating about in this video. So throughout all the different episodes of Ninjago, we've been able to collect a lot of information on the first Spinjitzu Master, but hardly anything on his wife. I assume she didn't take the forefront of the stage whenever all this fighting was going on, and the first Spinjitzu Master seemed to get all the credit for this. Now whether his wife had any part to do in the fighting against the Oni or the creation of Ninjago, of course that's all just speculation, we don't know much. The main question I want to answer is whether Wu and Garmadon had a connection with their mother, or if she unfortunately maybe passed away soon after their birth. It's really hard to say since we haven't heard much about Wu really speaking about his mother before, and of of course, while Garmadon, you know, he's not really in the state to be talking about his mom at this point. Nonetheless, it's very important to remember that Garmadon is the older brother, and thus he most likely had more time with his mother, and may have had a deeper connection with her, or at least more memories associated with her. But before we go any further, let's go ahead and check out the confirmed evidence that we have regarding the first Spinjitzu Master's wife. We should turn our attention to this book that was released in 2017. You can actually buy it. It's the Book of Spinjitzu, and inside there's a lot of pages basically with Sensei Wu's writing and different notes he's taken and his wisdom behind Spinjitzu, Ninjago, and all that good stuff. The main part that sticks out in this book is this page right here, and it actually shows a diagram of sort of the lineage or family lineage that Lloyd tops off at, and at the very bottom you can see the first Spinjitzu Master, and on the left you can see a picture frame with a silhouette of a female figure, which most likely should represent the wife of the first Spinjitzu Master. Now you may be wondering how much accuracy and credibility is behind a book that's published under LEGO Ninjago, and actually, there's quite a bit. Back in 2017, Multiverse asked, can you tell me if this book will be canon to the series? And he got a response back from the story consultant at LEGO, who works in Denmark, so he's a credible figure, and he responded, yes, it is canon. And so this opened up a lot of doors. We now know that, of course, well, the first Spinjitzu Master had a wife. That's confirmed. Of course, that backs up our logic with it. Since Ninjago, after all, is a fictitious world, one may assume that the first Spinjitzu Master simply just created both of his sons. I mean, he has the power of creation. And so that's what I had really thought before I saw this book back in 2017. And I just now wanted to bring it up to you guys because I found it really interesting and I've still been trying to figure it out. We haven't really gotten any more information on the wife of the first Spinjitzu Master, but I feel like this graphic in this book, and since it is supposedly canon, it does confirm the fact that there was a wife to the first Spinjitzu Master. I find this very interesting. This would be Lloyd's grandmother, if you look at the lineage. It's practically impossible to tell what type of power she had. Perhaps they were similar to her husband's, or maybe they were completely different. I would assume that she had some sort of elemental powers, but perhaps she didn't. Really, it's all up to speculation at this point. Anyways, that's just a lot of food for thought for you guys. Go ahead and munch on that. Comment your guys' thoughts down below. Personally, in my thoughts, I believe that the creators of Ninjago and developers really just didn't take much time to focus on the wife aspect of the first Spinjitzu Master, and thus are probably going to not include much information, unfortunately, in the series to come, or the seasons to come, I should say. But we can always hope, and of course, I'm still looking for a first Spinjitzu Master minifigure. Hopefully, we can get that in the coming years. I really want to get my hands on one of those minifigures. But like I said, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy this sort of speculation video. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If you guys have any speculation or theories or any ideas based on the wife of the first Spinjitzu Master. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a thumbs up rating down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.